why is mentorship such a big deal in ABA? Having the right mentor can literally be your deciding factor on how to land the perfect job, your career path, your opportunities in this Should field. I pay for a mentor? Is the mentor free? Well, hi, I'm Dom, the BCBA mom, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking all things mentorship. Do you need a mentor as a BCBA? The truth is, ABA is a growing field, but can often feel really isolated. Mentorship gives us that connection, that lifeline of knowledge, experience, or just being able to talk through issues with someone in the field who has gone through this. A mentor can coach you on things like how to land the perfect job, that job that sets you up for long-term success. I've had mentors that have spoken my name in rooms that I wasn't even in, which has led to incredible speaking opportunities and it gives you the confidence you need to reach your goals. During today's video, we're gonna talk about why mentorship in ABA matters, how mentorship not only impacts you, but can also directly affect your client's progress, the struggle to find a mentor, how to find the right mentor. When you know you have someone in your corner that you can go back to, ask questions, clarify, and they can guide you, you come to work with a little bit more confidence and competence navigating difficult caseloads or ways that you can approach your treatment plans differently, ways to advocate for your clients differently, ways that you can implement caregiver training differently. Your mentor should have a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of experience and they should willingly and openly share that Now, with you. let's talk about the struggle of actually finding a mentor. Well, there's not like this big pool of mentor BCBAs out here just twiddling their thumbs with nothing to do. No. Most BCBAs, I know they, um, they have a lot going on. They're very busy. They may have multiple jobs, have different projects going on, and may also be doing some pro bono work. So finding a good supervisor, I'm just going to say it right now, it is not easy. So one way to find a mentor is being open to mentorship looking a different way. Mentorship doesn't always have to be formalized. It could be someone and you follow their work. So you read all of their articles or all of the literature that they publish out. You go to all of their speaking engagements or you purchase all of their CEUs. You watch all of their YouTube channels or you comment on all of their Instagram reels. That could be a portion of mentorship where they're giving out this free information and you're just out here grabbing it and engaging with them via social media or in other ways. Some people may consider this I'm um, the BCBA Mom YouTube channel a form of mentor. But if you want to know how to find the right mentor, you need to first look within and identify what are your values, what are your goals, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Do you want to open your own clinic? Do you want to work in schools? Do you want to work in homes? Do you want to do more research or organizational behavior management? Do you want to do more dissemination and speaking engagements? Identify what you want to do in this field and then you find a BCBA or find a professional that is already doing well in that work. If you want to do more research, you may want to find a mentor that has published literature and published peer review articles in the past. Finding the right mentor, everything has to be aligned, right? They have to share your values and aspirations or they know how to help you meet those goals and aspirations, even if they're not similar. So I'm sure you're wondering, should I pay for a mentor? Is the mentor free? Well, I'll just put it like this. I pay for ballet if it's going to make my life a lot more convenient. What's the point? Everywhere you go has ballet. I paid for a public speaking coach. I paid for my kids to have personal basketball coaches or personal soccer coaches. Some parents pay for their kids to, have, to be on a travel team. So I think you should consider paying for things that are an investment in your life, in your career, in you being your future self. I have paid for mentorships in different areas of my life, not just as a BCBA, in other endeavors of my life. 
However, all mentors do not need to be paid mentors. You can just find someone that works at your current organization, works at your current site, and you can ask, hey, once a week, can I shadow you? Or can we set up a meeting once a, once a month and I can ask you some questions? Um, are there any projects that you're working on that I can help you out with? Sometimes you, you know, go to professional conferences or you start following people on social media and you see a skill set they have, they see a skill set that you have. So you got, and you can form this bi-directional relationship where you are pouring into them and they are pouring into you. Honestly, a lot of my mentors in life were my peers that began to mentor me in certain areas of my life. So we both were BCBAs, but you owned a clinic. And anytime I had questions about that, I could call you about that. Or we both were BCBA peers or friends, but you know how to help me to publish my first article. Or you may have the skill set on how to get me as a keynote speaker. So sometimes you can just pull on your community or your network and consider that your mentor. Remember, a mentor is just anyone that is helping you reach your professional goals. Someone who is speaking your name in rooms that you're not even there. According to an article that I'm gonna link below by Dr. Nasia Serenci Oli Ulazi, there is a mentorship and then, and then there is sponsorship. A sponsor is someone who is investing their money in you reaching your goal as well who is the, investing their brand or investing their good name into you reaching your goal. Another tip, don't think you just need one mentor, right? You can have a team of mentors, right? Like I have a starting lineup of mentors that I tap into whenever I need to. Some of them are BCBAs, some of them are not BCBAs. Some of my mentors are mommy goals. Some of my mentors are wife goals. Some of my mentors are entrepreneur goals. So they, you don't just need one mentor. So at the end of the day, mentorship is a, is a powerful tool that can change the course of your ABA career. The right mentor can push you, challenge you, guide you, encourage you, love on you, whatever that relationship Mama. looks like. Just what helping you, you to that? continually <laughs> grow. If you don't take anything else from this video, just remember the right mentor can help you unlock doors that you didn't even know were there. And don't be afraid to invest in yourself, whether that's time, money, or effort, because you deserve it. And so do the people that you are sent here to impact. So that's all I have for today. Feel free to comment in the chat. Shout out your mentor or your dream mentor. Put them in the chat. Um, if you are a mentor, comment below. Hope you found this helpful. Now go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with someone who may be looking for mentorship. Not gonna leave you guys out there. I, I'm going to provide a list of individuals that offer mentorship in the field of ABA, including myself. So if you are looking for a mentor, there will be a link for you to get started and I cannot wait to work with you in the future. Okay, that's all for another video of Dom, the BCBA mom.